Student Live Student Voices is being brought to you as a service of Ken Stopel Ford, Central Texas Electric Co-op, Totality Over Texas, Vogel Tractors, Joseph Financial Partners, Medical Arts Pharmacy, and Celebrity Care Medical Clinic. Welcome to Student Live Student Voices, a production of HC Broadcasting and KNAF AM 910. This series encourages conversations about the topics that matter to young people and the issues that affect them. Our goal is to engage students in these conversations as well as in the solutions created. Time now for Student Lives, Student Voices. This is Trish Dwyer Morgan, one of the moderators for Student Lives, Student Voices. This episode is the completion of the special edition we started last week, which is a compilation of all of our episodes on bullying thus far. We just couldn't get everything in last week. This week, we will move from individual interventions into behavioral and community transformations that support a bullying-free environment for young people. As we began to look at interventions and possible solutions related to bullying, it became clear that transformation was a key component of sustainable changes in individual and collective behavior and student environments. Transform Forming individual lives with school-based, family, and even legal interventions, and the important role that healthy relationships and the ability to form healthy relationships based on kindness, empathy, and trust play a significant role. Transformation also includes supporting school and community cultures that promote and teach caring behavior and empathy and reward them as, and hold accountable in developmentally appropriate ways those that engage in or enable bullying behavior. And when we talk about intervention, what actions are being described? Johnson City High School student and a bullying survivor. What, what would you tell other students that are experiencing bullying that might help them? Uh, I would tell them to just not live with it for one. Just get out of it. Tell them, go talk to your counselor. Like, like if it keeps happening, go talk to your counselor. Go talk to your trusted adult. Tell your parents. Tell your, even aunt and uncle. Just find somebody. Somebody that you really trust, and that's helped for me. And Amy Weiser, Kerrville ISD, Safe and Supportive School Program Coordinator. I would recommend finding a trusted adult who can advocate for them is going to be the most important thing. And this could be, you know, their caretaker, parent or guardian person, another teacher or coach uh, or a, administrator, you know, adult sibling. There's a wide variety out there. So I would find that person who can have that voice to help speak up and help find that person that can help them feel supported and understand the process that the school is going through. Mm -hmm. All schools also have an anonymous reporting tool and this is a great way to report when there is an issue or a concern. And so that's also something that the student could, you know, if they feel like, okay, I've reported it once and I feel like it fell on deaf ears, then maybe try that anonymous reporting mm -hmm. tool because that can be something that really helps. Um, as like districts, when they get a report, um, Texas State Safety Center has provided the districts with a bullying checklist for schools that we utilize and it gives us these boxes that we go through mm -hmm. and you check off a yes or no and it kind of is a flow chart that you go through and then that from that flow list it determines if it's an act of bullying or cyberbullying by law ah. um, and then if it is bullying or cyberbullying by law the principal must contact the um, student's parent or legal guardian and so both are notified when that happens and so I do like that checklist because there are scenarios and there's a it really helps break down the law so that way we make sure that we are best serving students and that our definition isn't varied from another school district. We truly are staying in line with what the state law. That's actually also a checklist that then parents would have access to or a guardian would have access to, right? So that they could they could go through it, look at what's happening with their child. If it turns out it doesn't match the legal definition of bullying, are there other alternatives the school is able to help them do to, to sort of conflict resolve? Oh, definitely. That is really a good question. There's quite a few different things that school districts can do and put into place. One of, of course, 
coming from the mental health background, one of my favorite ones is utilizing the school counselor's responsibility to serve as an impartial non-reporting resource to help Mm -hmm. them resolve interpersonal conflicts and any discord that may be happening. And the earlier we know in situations like this, the easier it is, especially when we step into that mediation process. Mm -hmm. Um, I find that the earlier I was involved, the easier and quicker we were able to get down to the root and get it resolved. System principals and principals also can utilize other techniques and then depending on the situation, you know, they may be able to adjust some schedules or look at different interventions or things that can help support that student so that all parties are being um, served and protected and that that student that feels like they were targeted and had that um, mean-spirited event happen, that they're supported and taken care of. Comfort ISD, Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction, Jerry Adams. Like if you're a parent and you're trying to figure out what's going on with your child, maybe your child is having some experience, but they're actually inciting some of those experiences. How would you be able to know that and intervene on that side of it? You know, for you know, as a parent, I mean, it's it's communication, mm-hmm. and and if somebody sees something that I don't see or knows something that I don't know you know, communicating and, and letting us know so that we can help and we can really have that fantastic partnership. Mm. I mean, that, that that's the key part right there. And get involved. Mm-hmm. When I was a high school principal, that would be the message during the class mm-hmm. meetings. And I know that Mrs. Womble and Mrs. Broma provide that same message here is find a way to get involved. Find a bunch of ways to get involved, whether that's through, you know, academic clubs, whether that's through the Fellowship of Christian Athletes organization, whether that's through um, UIL academics or athletics or band. There are so many different ways to get involved and you develop those communities and 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 you get to know other people that way and then other people get to know you that way and then they encourage you to do things that you might not think that that you would do mm-hmm. and so that that's the, that's where the real power mm-hmm. comes in and, and we see that here you know every year we have kids that that go out for different activities because of an encouraging word that a teacher or coach made and then their friends are encouraging them to step outside of themselves and and they and and that encouragement gives them the, the courage to step out and do something that they would not have done. We'll be back with more after these messages. This is Steve Maxwell here at Texas Rebel Radio. And I want to talk to you just a second about Ken Stoppel Ford in Kerrville. They're not just a great company to buy your next vehicle from or to get your vehicle serviced. The Stoppels are deeply involved in the communities they serve. They give you their time and resources to Habitat for Humanity, Junior Livestock Scholarships, Kerr County Young Life, Harper and Medina Volunteer Fire Departments, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, the United Way, and many more. They touch every community in this listening area in some way. There are some good companies in our Texas Hill Country, but the one company that stands out as an advocate for all of us is Ken Stoppel Ford. When you consider purchasing your next vehicle or servicing the ones you have, please give Ken Stoppel Ford a chance to show you what they are all about. Honesty, integrity, and a willingness to get involved in their Hill Country community. They have been Hill Country proud since 1966, and they would love nothing more than to prove it to you. Find them at StoppelFord.com. CTEC is a proud sponsor of Student Life, Student Voices. From lighting up your homes to powering local businesses, we've been your reliable source of energy for over 75 years. But CTEC is not just about electricity. From sponsoring local school programs to supporting community events, Central Texas Electric Co-op is all about giving back. In fact, concern for community is one of our guiding principles. With every flip of the switch, we're working together to build a brighter future. Visit our website or drop by our office today. Central Texas Electric Co-op. Powering homes. Empowering communities. Welcome back to Student Live Student Voices, a production of HC Broadcasting and KNAFAM 910.
Dr. Whitney Whitworth, Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Agent for Llano County. This is actually published from the Utah State uh, University Extension. So this actually gives us some tips in dealing with bullying. First, if you see bullying, tell a trusted adult. Second, find good friends. If you are a victim of bullying, seeking out a good friend to confide in can make a world of difference. If you know someone who has been bullied, you can support him or her by listening and being a good friend. We all know that the human connection is so very important. Humans have to have each other. Third, (laughs) ignore the bully and walk away. I know it's not easy to do, but bullies thrive on the reaction that they get. So if they don't get a reaction, they're less likely to do it in the future. Number four, stay cool. I know a bunch of us have a temper. I have one too. Bullies want you to know that they are affecting your emotions. So don't let them know they're getting to you, even if they are. If you're in a situation where you can't just walk away, use humor. It can throw a bully off guard. Once you are away from the situation, make sure to release your anger in a healthy way. Exercising, get in a small room and yell sometimes when I have frustration, (laughs) but getting that frustration out is important. Don't get physical. Using physical force, kicking, hitting, or pushing not only lets the bully know that he or she is getting to you, but you never know what they will do in response. You might be more likely to get hurt or get in trouble. Six, practice confidence. Practice ways to respond to the bully confidently. Walk tall, hold your head high. Using this type of body language sends a message that you're not vulnerable. Sometimes it also helps to practice feeling good about yourself, even if you have to fake it at first, okay? (laughs) Finally, take charge of your life. While you can't control other people's actions, you can stay true to yourself. Think about ways to feel your best and your strongest, such as exercise or gaining skills or hobbies in school subjects you enjoy. Why don't we always see what happens after bullying behavior is reported? Amy Weiser, Kerrville ISD, Safe and Supportive School Program Coordinator. Um, We have young people where their prefrontal cortex is still developing and we all have free will. So someone may need multiple times talking to someone or mediating or having some kind of uh, disciplinary repercussion before it sinks in and you can fully stop it. If you feel like, hey, this is continued or there was another incident to to make sure that they report that. And I know sometimes it's hard to get that final closure due to FERPA laws and regulations. Mm -hmm. Administrators or school staff cannot talk about another student to other people. And so that means that they, they won't get to know the consequences or the repercussions for the student who they had reported. It stands for the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act. And what it does is it protects students' information. Mm-hmm. So we're not going to go and talk about this student in our class and they did this or that. We would be violating FERPA. This has been a special extended edition of Student Lives, Student Voices. Listen to Student Lives, Student Voices every Sunday afternoon here on KNAFAM 9. Time is dependent upon Astro's gameplay. It's usually about 5 o'clock. What options are there for countering bullying? Bullying is an unhealthy relationship. Of course. What does a healthy relationship look like? Is Dr. Whitney Whitworth, Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Agent for Llano County great things in healthy relationships that are important. Trust is the most important. If you have somebody you can trust, you can talk to, that can help you cope with a bully. We need to make sure trust is the most important thing. Uh, In a healthy relationship, both people trust each other. From my personal relationships, you know, it has to be a two-way street. It's not just give, 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 or take, take, take. It's someone you know you can depend on. And I know it's very enriching to have these healthy relationships. And they do take time. Having a trusted adult or someone you feel like has your back. Yes. That's that you can talk to no matter what without judgment. And I think that's maybe where some of us can struggle. Um is in being judgy and you know everybody's going through something everybody is absolutely going through something um there's a phrase you never know what the person next to you is going through so always be kind yeah and i really think that we should all work on practicing that no matter where you are in the grocery store um you know in the fuel line wherever you are yeah Amy Weiser, Kerrville ISD, Safe and Supportive School Program Coordinator. Why is it important to get kids involved in solving the problem of bullying along with adults? Oh, yes. Um, I think anytime we pull kids into it, it empowers them. And 
when we talk about what bullying is, there's an imbalance of power right there. And so anytime that we can help kids claim back that power and be able to be a positive change or reach out and talk about it, we're allowing them to be able to um, take back their own power and then even be able to help others and make a difference. Johnson City High School student and a bullying survivor. When you see other people getting bullied, mm -hmm. what do you think or do you, do I, you do anything? I try and help. I try and help. Like I, if I see it, then I'll go and try and talk. Amy Weiser. But there's something to be said about taking that stand and if you're that bystander or that witness that's there, mm -hmm. there's something about that unity for the person who's going through that incident to know that someone stood up for me and they cared enough to say that's not okay or we don't do that in our school or that's not how we treat people. Um, there's power in that. So if it is safe and that person feels like, you know what, I can say that in the moment. When you can be that friend, you can be that lifeline, you may be the one to save a life or to change that person's uh, feeling about where they're at in school. We'll be back with more Student Lives, Student Voices after this. Calling all Eclipse visionaries. Totality Over Texas, based here in Fredericksburg, has all your Eclipse essentials covered. ISO certified Eclipse glasses, commemorative t-shirts, and more. All custom designed with Texas in mind. It's time to get ready for the ultimate celestial spectacle. Visit www.totalityovertx.com and make sure all eyes are on you during the eclipse. That's totalityovertexas.com. Vogel Tractors is the Texas Hill Country source for pre-owned tractors. They offer new and used implements and attachments for landscaping, tillage and harvest, as well as small construction machines and attachments. Their inventory includes new equipment from Rhino, Armstrong Ag, Industrious America, Mohawk, Ag Meyer and more. Every tractor at Vogel's is thoroughly inspected, serviced, and field tested to ensure that they're field ready. Your trade-in is welcomed at Vogel Tractors, and financing options as well as nationwide delivery is available. The Vogels are successful sixth-generation Texas German farmers and ranchers who know what it takes to work the land. So when you need a tractor or a piece of associated equipment, visit your Hill Country neighbors at Vogel Tractors, 12 miles east of Fredericksburg on U.S. Highway 290, or find them online at vogeltractors.com. That's V-O-G-E-L tractors.com. Welcome back to Student Live Student Voices, a production of HC Broadcasting and KNAFAM 910. What options are there for countering bullying? Johnson City High School student and a bullying survivor. Did you have any other kids that you felt like you could talk to? No, because I was I was always the odd one out. Right. And just with me being tall and goofy, I was always taller than everybody, so I just... Comfort ISD, Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction, Jerry Adams. And whether you're the bully or being bullied, it's it's extremely important for for kids to understand that they are of value mm -hmm. and that they have worth. And when we see, you know, and, and even adults too, when we try to get our worth from social media posts or, you know, popularity or likes or, or pieces like that, um, our worth is beyond that. And and that that sense of identity and where our worth comes from. You know, oftentimes, you know, we have, uh, you know, boys and girls and young men and young uh, uh, ladies walking our hallways that don't understand how valuable they are. Mm -hmm. And when you have a, a, an absence or a lack of understanding that value, you can you can be susceptible to to bullying because, you know, I, I, I deserve that. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I you know, I, I deserve those mean comments, or, or um, if you're issuing out those mean comments mm -hmm. or actions, you don't realize that hey, I'm, I'm better than that, and the person I'm saying these okay. things to or doing this to, they're better than this too, and mm -hmm. and it's about building each other up, and so mm -hmm. that that understanding the val how highly prized and highly valued. Um, each of the students that we serve are, and and our kids, not all of our kids understand how valuable. And the 
moderator Steve Maxwell. But I did want to go back to one other thing mm-hmm. we didn't really talk about on cyberbullying. Okay. What you can do. Oh, excellent. Not to be, first of all, choose not to join in okay. on the bully. Um, you might feel some pressure to join in if a lot of people or other people are doing it, but you can make your own choice not to contribute to, to it. When you see a post that's bullying someone, don't hit the like button. Uh, when you see negative behavior online, don't contribute to it. Uh, you can also respond with positive support. If you feel comfortable and if it's safe for you, publicly show your solidarity with the person being targeted, like we did with this young man, and that was a Tyvee, by the way, in Kerrville. Um, even one nice comment among a bunch of mean ones on the internet can make a world of difference for someone being bullied. And reach out to the person being bullied. Send them a private message, letting them know that you don't agree with what's happening, that they don't deserve to be treated like that, and that they're not alone. Encourage them to report the bullying or to tell an adult. So, yeah. Dr. Whitney Whitworth, Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Agent for Llano County. I love we have our small nuclear communities in the Hill Country. I really do. But there's more out there. And and our young people need to realize that, too, that there's different perspectives, that there's different ideas, that there's different realms. And I think extracurricular activities where you bring different types of young people, you can get an appreciation that everybody's different. And there's nothing wrong with that. And you just appreciate that everybody's unique because everybody is. Exactly. Everybody's exactly. unique. Moderator Steve Maxwell. That, that brings me to, the, to, to sort of the point of this whole exercise, if you want to call it that. We want to give the students a platform. Uh-huh. Yeah. We want to give them a voice. They need to have a voice. They need to know that people are listening and that we want them to be heard. Um, we have a heart for these kids. Uh, we And we also have some very good sponsors uh, that were more than willing to jump in. Um, and I'm not... I'm not trying to plug them right now, Uh but I want the students to realize that it's not just the radio station, it's not just the people here Uh in this room, it's not just the teachers, it's people in the community that also care about them. Uh Uh, They have a heart for these kids, or they wouldn't be spending their wealth or their Uh money and their time to support this this Uh project. Beginning on December 3rd, new episodes of Student Live Student Voices will be broadcast on KNAFAM 910 at 5 o'clock on Sundays. Coming up is a preview of the interview that Steve Maxwell, one of our moderators, will be sharing with you next week. Welcome to Student Live Student Voices. This is Steve Maxwell with KNAF, and today we have the pleasure of speaking with Brent Ives. He's the executive director of the Kerr County Care Coordination Team. And they're part of the Kerr County Crisis Council. But uh, Brent, um, tell me just a little bit about yourself. So thank you for having me on the show, Steve. Um, Yeah, like you said, I am the executive director for Hill Country Crisis Council. Um, I've been I've been in this position since 2017. For the last 30 years of my tenure, career, professional career, I've been working with. Uh, intersecting and working with children who are high risk or uh, who, um, you know, are are vulnerable to to different things and working with their families, working in crisis. And so I've just kind of followed that path through my career and and it resulted in in this position I have now over Hill Country Crisis Council. And we are kind of a unique agency, if you will. We have under the same umbrella organization or under the same umbrella, we have a Children's Advocacy Center. We have a uh, emergency shelter that provides safety for family violence survivors and adult sexual assault providers. So we're a rape crisis center also. So we have all that at our, uh, that, you know, th- those are the services that we provide. And we do that in five different counties. So we cover uh, those services are provided in Gillespie County, Kerr County, and a couple of other counties that are that are here in the Hill Country. So that's This episode of Student Live Student Voices, the summary of our bullying episodes to date, is different from the original broadcast. It's been modified to 
three uh, segments versus two, and we added on a preview of the upcoming episodes. Joseph Financial Partners is a proud sponsor of Student Life, Student Voices. They offer independent financial advice in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and insurance. They're here to educate and assist you with all of your financial needs, and they hold themselves to a fiduciary standard, meaning they place your needs above their own. Their mission, to partner with their clients on all of their significant financial decisions by providing independent advice, appropriate education, and extraordinary service, all delivered with the integrity that holds your financial needs above their own. Please visit Joseph Financial Partners at josephfinancialpartners.com and find out why so many have placed their trust in this extraordinary Hill Country financial team. josephfinancialpartners.com This is Steve Maxwell, Sales Director here at HC Broadcasting, and I'm careful about giving personal endorsements, but Ken Stopel Ford in Kerrville is a no-brainer. I recommend them without reservation. My wife bought the last truck we purchased from Ken Stopel, and she told me she will never buy from another car dealer. They won't be satisfied until you are happy with the service you receive. That's why Ford Motor Company gave them their President's Award. Ford dealers get this when they meet or exceed customer expectations in every department. They also give back to Hill Country schools and communities. I asked my friend Terry Massey, their general manager, if they would help with our radio show about bullying. He didn't ask me what Ken Stopel would get out of the sponsorship. He just said, sign us up. That's the Stopels I know. The next time you need a vehicle or service, go see the folks that really care about people in the Hill Country. Go see Ken Stopel Ford. Find them at StopelFord.com. We want to make sure that any of our listeners understand help is available from many sources. There is always hope and nothing is inevitable. There are school counselors, reporting systems at schools, and even help through hotlines such as the 988 system. If you or someone you know is experiencing a mental health crisis, call 988 for assistance. Or contact Texas Health and Human Services at 855-937-2372 to talk to a trained professional. Thank you for listening to Student Lives, Student Voices, brought to you by our sponsors, Ken Stopel Ford, Central Texas Electric Co-op, Totality Over Texas, Vogel Tractors, Joseph Financial Partners, Medical Arts Pharmacy, and Celebrity Care Medical Clinic.